His back hit the far wall, and the sweat soaking through his A-shirt makes him stick ever so slightly and let out a long squeaking sound as he skids down. The cackling is the worst of it. Jean-Luc is an absolute prick even when practicing his wiring for demolitions. Thankfully, he's just got some silly putty instead of plastic explosive. It chars and sizzles when he fucks up but doesn't kill anything but his own dignity. Ah, fuck you, Gene, Marcus says, standing back up with a groan. What are you mad at him for? It was Lou that rocked you. Beck asks, he was reading through the galactic equivalent of first aid for dummies and smirking over the cover at the show he was getting. It's the laughing that's pissing me off, Marcus admits. Being pissed off is caused by being piss poor, Lou says in a patronizing voice. Oh, fuck you too, you fortune cookie. Oh, ho, I hit a sore spot. Come then he who would be Hercules. See what you can do over the next coming of Lou Boo. Your name is Lou Sun, not Lou Boo, you cretin. Don't you read? Lou asks. Plenty. Consider Romance of the Three Kingdoms on your required reading list. Hey, wasn't Lu Bu a backstabbing asshole who was exceptionally shit at planning and management? Beck asks to stir the pot a bit. Silence. Do not get your facts into my fantasy, Lou declares before taking a stance. Now come, child of Rome. Face me in the full might of my axiom again. I don't know what's worse. The fact that you've been throwing me around like pizza dough or the fact that you're clearly high as a kite while doing it. I'm stone sober, Lou protests. Bullshit, boo, Marcus snaps. Oh, for the love of, do I have to spell it out? Lou demands as he runs a hand over his short mohawk. Yes, what am I missing about Axiom Combat? Marcus demands and both Beck and Jean-Luc turn to see what happens next. Lou rubs a hand over his face in exasperation as he slides out of his fighting stance. Okay, first you need to get a feel for what you're doing slowly. Pull the axiom in and empower everything. You leave any part of your body out and you will hurt yourself. The basics will let you use all your muscles to 100%. That's strong enough to shatter your bones and rupture organs if you don't reinforce them too. To say nothing of what it does to the nerves and veins. So just put it over all of it. He instructs and Marcus nods before closing his eyes and focusing. Lou can sort of feel him pull it in and nods. Good. Franklin's shit at explaining things sometimes. Now there's a reason I've been going through the Lou Boo routine. Remember that feeling of axiom and name it. I call mine Lou Boo. Then call it up and focus on that mental image. Use something you know well, like Hercules, Achilles, or hell go for broke and call it Zeus or Ares. Associate everything that needs to happen with a single simple thing. Oh, yay, Franklin is shit. He tells you every little thing, then expects you to figure out how to line it up. Yay, so pull it in and name the beast, Lou says. Fine, Achilles. I have the abilities of Achilles, he says to himself. He has all the impossible strength, unlimited endurance, and unimaginable skill of the legendary hero. Breathe in, he is Achilles. Breathe out, still Achilles. Now, Achilles, face me, for I am Lubu, greatest warrior in the world, Lou declares. Challenge accepted. Marcus declares before blurring forward with a grab that Lou barely dodges. They seem to flicker out of existence as Marcus catches a punch with his elbow to block it. Then he hits the deck as Lou sweeps his legs. Lost your focus, Achilles. Get up. We're doing this again, Lou says, offering his hand and then hauling Marcus upright. I saw it happening, but everything just fell apart. You trained in that HEMA stuff, right? Swords and spears, not much hand to hand? Yeah. I've been in Kung Fu since I was in diapers. Oh, so you just started? Beck asks and gets an offhand bird that he chuckles at in response. So I've got a pretty big advantage on you. Ryu's good competition, but he's kendo trained. Swordsmanship like you. Oh, shit, Marcus mutters. What? I just realized if an adept were to decide she wants a man and he doesn't have the skill to use Axiom, he's meat in front of her. We need everyone to have this. No exception. Back home, it's guns that make men equal. Here, it's the freaking force. Beck notes as he puts a bookmark in and sets the first aid for dummies to the side. It was all mostly the same as his medic training anyways. Just some caveats for the really weirdly put together races and a bit about adjusting for body mass and size. Marcus manages to get a grip on Lou after the overconfident man overextends and slams him to the floor hard enough to rattle Jean-Luc who fries his wires. Imbeciles, idiot cretins, he starts barking at them in a fury. 
You're the dumbass that wanted experience working with distraction. Don't pin it on us that you're a fuck up, Lou remarks as Marcus helps him up. You wrestle or something? You always go for a grab when you can. I have brothers. That's about it. I took up with local HEMA and got sword and shield and spear training. Not much conditioning, though, Lou notes. Just a hobby, really. Basic killed whatever laziness I had. Not enough. Basic PT keeps you in shape and ready. But it doesn't build reflexes like sparring does, Lou remarks and Marcus thinks. Would you be willing to instruct? You're pretty much the best hand-to-hand -hand fighter we have on the ship, and we need something more than just being in shape. On top of understanding the criminal underworld, military code, military tactics, the running of ship, our own specializations, the general history of an entire galaxy, the political ins and outs of a reality out to basically kidnap us and tie us to the bedposts, react to whatever the hell is happening in Centris, react to whatever orders come from the Dauntless, react to the orders from Earth and whenever the hell our home countries start having dick-waving competitions, react to the drama that's right around the corner with all these girls in this ship, react to... We get it, Jean-Luc cuts off Beck's rant. Look, this is all over my head. I just wanted to get paid to blow shit up and somehow that made me qualified for this horse shit. I don't know much. I admit it. I damn near flunked out of high school. But what I do know is that you can't do anything if you don't know anything about what you need to do. What? Beck asks. Look, we can all agree that learning to fight with Axiom is just the smart thing to do, right, right? Right. Marcus agrees and Jean-Luc nods. Closest we got to an expert are the girls in medical who have hookups to it growing in naturally, and Franklin. Franklin's pretty smart and also goddamn stupid. So what we need are actual experts. People that not only know how to fight with Axiom, but know how to teach people how to fight with it, right? So you're saying head to one of the dojos and buy some lessons, Lou says, and Jean-Luc nods. Can't hurt, can it? He asks reasonably, and the room glances around. Yeah, I suppose we should break this off until we get some expert opinion. Or at least look into whatever the hell they call the local internet to get some instructions. All right, who are you and what the hell have you done with Jean-Luc? Beck asks and gets the brid. Seriously, though, since when do you have good ideas? Hey, stupid, I'm in demolitions. Read the fucking instructions is step one through 20 on a 10-step program. There's a lot I don't give a shit about, but I'm not that stupid. Jean-Luc spits out and finds himself hoisted into the air by the comparatively skinny arm of Beck. Don't you fret, good chum. All the stupid shall be taken by the wild blue yonder. For who needs brains when you have the strength of 15, nay, 20 normal men, a half-full bus of might? What the fuck? Jean-Luc demands. Come now, we shall be both mighty men. A two-headed serpent slithering the path of justice, leaving our venom in the behind of evil. Beck goes off as Lou and Marcus start laughing. The hell are you doing? Put me down, you freak! Jean-Luc protests as he rains blows down onto Beck's head and is completely unsuccessful until he gets the Egyptian man square in the nose and they both collapse to the floor as Beck's concentration is broken. Jean starts laying into the smartass before he's pulled off by Marcus as Lou helps the still snickering Beck up. All right, all right, he had his fun and you got your licks in. It's over, Marcus orders and yanks back Jean-Luc as he goes in for another round. No, you're done. It's over, he orders and Jean-Luc growls before stomping off and out of the sectioned off quarter of their cargo bay. So what exactly were you using for a mental image? Lou asks, and Beck starts chuckling. Not an answer, but the anticipation is building, Marcus notes. The tick, he says to the bafflement of the two men. The what? Parody superhero, dumb as a brick, nigh invulnerable and really stonking strong. Good heart, though, and a ton of fun. Beck answers, a parody? I suppose any image works as long as it works, Lou remarks, and Beck looks from him to Marcus and back again before sighing. Okay, you two take a shower. I'm dragging the crew into a marathon of everything with the tick in it. No point making jokes if no one's going to get them, Beck says, and the other two shrug. Sure, whatever. Let's hit the showers. We need to do some research, Marcus says before he and Lou leave while he occasionally bats away a swat or two from the Chinese man. An hour later, all the men and a fair amount of the crew are slumped into the soft, plush chairs in the tactical center as the theme starts.
The hell are you doing? Jean-Luc asks Franklin, who's looking away from the screen and making a weird face. Something's up with his hair, too. There's a sucking sound, and he turns to look at Jean-Luc. Oh, come on, I want more, a voice says from the empty air next to Franklin. Oh, God, it's in viso tits. Put a fucking bell on her. Well, bleh to you, too, Mirage says from her spot on Franklin's lap. Not that anyone can see her, but him. Is she sticking her tongue out at me? Jean-Luc asks. Yep, Franklin confirms. The aggrieved French demolitions trooper just groans in annoyance as he turns to watch the cartoon of the stupid blue freak that Beck is so enamored with. The hell is your problem? Miles asks him. What? What is wrong? Miles demands as he pulls up the remote and pauses the show to put him on the spot. Spit it out, soldier. What are we doing? Jean-Luc asks. We are in the middle of transporting a shipment of salvaged air car parts. A profitable run of dubious legality that's a cover for running numerous crystallized chemicals that are flat out illegal in the DVIR system. All told, the profit margins are high, especially considering the longer than average transport time. No, what are we doing? The Dauntless has landed on Centris. First contact is over and done. We have a battle ready ship and knowledge of the galaxy at large. Why are we just looking at money? Why aren't we going out and kicking ass? You're restless, Miles realizes. I got reason to be. So much is happening, but it's not happening here. The Dauntless has reported a total security breach. The whole fucking mission is compromised from the ground up. What are we doing? What we can do? What do you expect us to do? Turn the ship around, blast our way to Centris, and somehow reverse the breach? Or maybe stage a takeover of the Galactic Federation or hunt down the literal millions of different factions that hacked the Dauntless. Yes. No. I, God damn it, there has to be something we can do. We can carry on with our orders. We're part of the pirates until the Dauntless or any other Earth-aligned faction sets up the flag. Then we shift to the EFL. I know it sucks. We have to limit contact and we have to play it smart. But what's the plan? Surely there's more than sling bullshit. We have to have a plan. We do. Sling bullshit as we wait for or dig up opportunities. Until then, keep your head down. None of us are some kind of super soldier that can take a planet. We have to be smart and freaking out and charging off is as dumb a move as you can make. It just... Jean-Luc cuts himself off with a huff. I mean... He tries again this time, miming trying to strangle something. This... The strangling motion is even more violent this time. Grah! He roars out in a sudden fury. I know, I know, Miles assures him. Doesn't fucking help, Jean-Luc growls. I know that too.